Kelvin McKnight back deep to receive this Jose Borgales kick from his own 10. We are underway in Orlando. Tripped up, driven down, crossing the 20. And Seattle will take over there, having won three straight. The tackle by Thompson. Now Ben DiNucci, of course, standout career at go, JMU. Let's go. Let's start off strong. Let's start off strong. Here we go. Trips left. Trips left. 50 dogs. Z slant on two. Ready. 50, 50. Darius Bradwell, the running back. Set, go! Hot! Hot! And Danucci incomplete. Tended for Jacor Pearson, leading receiver in the XFL. Orlando had a big chance to make an early interception on, the, on that play, and that's been their issue. They had only created three turnovers on the season, but that was an excellent chance for them to start this game off great on the defensive side. Hammond's now the running back on second and ten. Set go! Hot! Hot! It's the five man front. Time for Danucci now flush. He'll show you the wheels, escorted out of bounds, crossing the 25. And a good game makes it third and manageable. Down to Eric. Guys, one thing that's going to be really interesting to pay attention to, mics are down right now for these coaches. They can't do the normal communication in the headset, so Ben DiNucci having to run back and forth. Any other game, I don't think that's a problem. But, Joey, it's a little hot down here. How are you feeling up top? Yeah, I would hate that. You would have to uh, signal me. Like, especially, he just ran the ball. Now, luckily, he's on their sideline close enough to get the play call. But, yeah, as this game wears on with this heat, that could be an issue. Weather could definitely be a factor. Hot. Hot. Third and five. Danucci surveys incomplete. Pearson was breaking open. Instead, it's three and out for Seattle. Hossein in coverage. Orlando played better last week in Las Vegas, Joey, and certainly that's got to give them some confidence to start this one off. Yeah, they just have to eliminate the penalties. They still lead the league in, in penalties per game, and that was an issue. As you can see, this pass is a little low, a little off, and it's, it's, it's almost like the defense that Orlando's playing on the back end. They've, they've played a lot of man-to-man. -man. As you see, they played some zone here early, and it looks like it might be confusing Danucci. Camera in the Zylet. We'll punt it to Justin Rogers. Retreats back to his 20. Ball was in the air forever. He'll make it to the 30. That's it. Bottled up and driven down after a return of 11 and a 54 yard punt. That was Hammonds that made the stop. Here's Quentin Dormady. Lando looked different with him on the field last week, and the offense certainly was explosive. Joey, you throw 25 passes, you only have three incompletions, right? That's getting the job done. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. And they've been really good on their first drives of every game that they've played in. It's just they cannot find a way to keep the momentum after that first drive. Empty backfield. Jermaine Martin. Is the running back who'll get the first down carry and trickles ahead for a short game. One, maybe two, the stop by Sharif Miller. Twins right, twins right, scat right, Cancun Y spot. Ready? We went from the Corvette to Cancun. Set. What any? Time pass is caught, and the completion to Dan Williams the third, right at the line again. It should be enough for a first down. Red ball, red ball, red ball, red ball. Guardians will show tempo. Good pass by Dormady. Corvette, Corvette, Corvette. Michelle, Michelle. First possession for the Guardians. Spun down is Martin. And a stop by Skipper. Well, Shane Matthews calling plays for head coach Terrell Buckley. They were high school teammates. 
The headset 12. has been an issue so far, we're told. Yeah, we've had in a number of games where the headsets have gone down. And in a league where there's a lot of access, a league where the offensive coordinator can talk to the skill positions and the quarterback until the ball is snapped, that's a difficult situation. All of a sudden, when the headsets are gone, you have to find a way to communicate. Second down and seven for the Guardians. Their first touch today. David, David, son. White Andy. White son. Latimer in motion. One of the top receivers in the XFL so far. Get the call near side and out of bounds. That pass sailed about five feet too high. And I think Dormady was just throwing that ball away. There was no one open. Uh, they looked like they were sending a will Latimer. route down the sideline, but he stopped and he just threw it away. Third down and seven. Latimer, of course, won a Super Bowl with Denver. Playing as a tight end. He's been a receiver. He's added weight. 86, 86. Twins right. Twins right. Quick ace right fetch. Twins right, quick ace fetch. Hurry, 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 hurry. Michelle, Michelle. Touch. Time for Dormany, loads one up deep. Incomplete, Jalen Smith was covered by Bryce Thompson and that was close. Yeah, really close and I, I like the idea. Take a shot early, uh, you know, it's, it's a third and long. You might as well take a shot, see if you can make this play and it looked like a catch at first. Just loses it at the end. Joey, he's fully extended. Yeah, he's fully extended. And I think it's a really good throw by Dormney, throwing it to the outside away from the defender because it's pretty good coverage on the back end. But he just couldn't bring it in. Yeah. Mac Brown. Send it inside the five to Kelvin McKnight. Penalty marker is down. McKnight keeps the play alive. With a path, there he goes, far side. McKnight. All the way to the 48-yard line, plus territory, a punt of 53, a return of 51. The tackle by Hossein. Let's check the penalty. Illegal formation. Kicking team, not enough players on the line of scrimmage. This five-yard penalty will be added to the end of the play. First down for Seattle. Timeout on the field. Hunt. Off to a great start. Bradwell off left tackle. And a two yard gain on first down. Savion Patton the tack tackle. And five minutes in, still scoreless. Seattle on the move. Spread right, spread right, box lock on Monday, ready. Monday, 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 Monday. TJ Hammonds are running back on second go, and eight. Set, go! Try the left side again. Hammond stripped up crossing the 40, a gain of three. It'll be third down. And we mentioned that Seattle is the, the leading passing team in the XFL, but it's important to establish the run. It helps your quarterback. It makes the defense to establish where the safeties are going to be. You can see on the first drive, Danucci was a little confused by the zone coverage. What clears that up is running the football. On two, ready. 81. KG. Here we go. Set, go! Hot! Hot! Danucci with time. Crossing route is there. So is the first down for Blake Jackson. Still on his feet. And he'll chug inside the 20. Seattle on the red zone after a gain of 19. I love the route by Blake Jackson. Looks like he's going to run a wheel route up the sideline. Goes full speed to the outside. Gets the defender's hips flip and then breaks across on the slant. Really nice route. Nice completion and a big gain. First big play from scrimmage for either side. Go. Trips left. 80 Z post. Wide choice special. On two. Ready. Come on. First completion for Danucci. Here we go, we gotta go. Set, go! Hot! Hot! Time. Slant incomplete. In and out of the midst of Jawan Green. It was Wiggins in coverage across the middle.
really good throw here by Danucci. It's on time. You got to get this ball in there between the safety and the corner, and he does it. Nice flat route. Now he's got to make this catch. Trips left Dallas on Monday. Ready? Monday, Monday. Here we go. Here we go. Set, go. Move it. Our referee, Francisco VR. Back him up five. The penalty on Chris Owens. Jim Hazlitt out of retirement, back on the sidelines with the approval of his wife, Beth, we're told. Here we go, here we go. Monday, Monday. Set, go! Halfway through the first, Radwell straight ahead, delayed give. Back to the original line of scrimmage after a five-yard gain. And third down and 10, Joey, what do you like? Well, this is an offense that leads the league in passing, leads the league in yards per game, but is fifth in scoring. And so finishing drives is important for this offense. And this is one of those situations, the penalty is back the ball up. Now in a third and 10, inside of 20, this is a tough play to make. Everly's longest field goal this season, a 36-yarder at D.C. Guardians bringing their dime set. Danucci drifting, throwing, in zone, and incomplete. It was broken up after the pass was intended to Josh Gordon by Matt Elam. Great coverage by Elam on the back end on this play. Remember him out of Florida, great athlete back there. Uh, he has one of the interceptions that, that this defense has on the season. He breaks under this corner nicely, gets a piece of this ball, and just tips it away at the last minute. Dominic Everly on the field. Five of six this season, that long of just 36. This would be a 37-yarder off the right hash. And he drills it. Seattle on the scoreboard first. Just an injury update for you on the Orlando side. Jalen Smith, who tried to make a good grab on the ball earlier and went down. He's been in the tent, guys, this entire time. He's dealing with a back spasm. And in regards to the communication issues that we've been talking about, well, I can tell you that Tight ends coach Brett Johnson has been getting the plays from offensive coordinator Shane uh, Matthews up from the booth, and he is shouting them out to quarterback Quentin Dormady. So that's how they're navigating around it, guys. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Justin Rogers on the return from his own five. Turf Monster got him. It'll be Orlando's football inside their own 20. Well, Quentin Dormady, second touch. Took over for Paxton Lynch a week ago in that three-point setback at Vegas. Offense looked different. Guardians certainly acted different offensively after his insertion. Back with the first team. Number support that. Lando's been involved in some close ones. Two of the last three decided by a possession. Thomas in the backfield. He'll motion out to get it. And a nifty move. Two cuts make it three. Close to a first down. Cole was in the area trying to trip him up. Those right, those right, those right. Excellent. Excellent. Nice play by Dorman to get the ball out of his hands. But then a better play by Thomas, making a couple guys miss, getting a field, set up a, a, a second and short. I'd like to see him take a shot here. Second in inches. Maybe that's what they'll do. Time for Dormady. That is exactly what they'll do. Keep too long for Charleston Rambo with Peyton Jones in coverage. I like the play call. Sets up a third and one. Uh, you, you'd assume you can run this ball and get your first down, but I like the second and one. Let's take a shot down the field, loosen up the defense. Well, Jalen Smith, who Tiffany just talked about, injured on that diving grab attempt. Nike, Nike. Michelle, Michelle. Dormady will keep it. Easily pick up the first down. Needed two inches. Gained almost two yards. Drive continues for Orlando. Joe, when you're trying to battle back, it lost a couple of games to start the season. It's kind of hard to get that first dub, right? Not easy. No, not easy at all, but it's the penalties and the mistakes that is that is killing Orlando. You mentioned 
their games have been fairly close at, you know the last couple weeks but it's Playing too right, many penalties right, get them in trouble Houston, and we mentioned Paxton Lynch out DeAndre Francois is the backup what is it? What is it? former Florida State standout on first down a quick toss Latimer his first touch upended after a five yard gain uh, he has been legit with his production his leadership 11 in green is one to watch today and the rest of the season flank right flank right Z soar F counter left on one ready Touch. Twelve personnel inside give on second and five and Orlando starting to cook after a three yard gain the tackle by Walker and I think Orlando would like to go fast here but as you can see because of the communications it's slowing down their offense the offense line still standing on the line of scrimmage uh, the, the idea of going fast but it's taking a little longer now to get the play call in ready third and two. David Davis hot. White 80. White that? Martin the running back. Quick strike incomplete and too much zest for Charleston Rambo. Fuck. God. The initial first down, Orlando has to punt. Those are the plays you have to have. If you're going to find a way to get your first win on these easy connections on third and short, you have to start connecting. If offensively you're going to get things in a rhythm, get things going, I'm telling you, they have to start making these kind of plays if they're going to get that first win on the season. Dormady already more incompletions today than the entire three quarters we saw him at Vegas. McKnight tripped up. We go all access here in the XFL. They got me mic'd up. Huh? They got me mic'd up. Oh, good. Everybody, group picture, group picture. I got, I got to get in the locker room. Relax, relax. Play with great effort. Let's go have some fun. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. Win. Let them know that we are number one. Yes, Off the rim. All right. See, Drake is on three. One, two, three. Hey, guys. Hey. Uh, 17 of the receiving team. Hit it. Ten I want all that. I want all that. Right. You just got moved by our leg. First down. You certainly appreciate the enthusiasm. Sea Dragons have won three straight. Correction, this is forced half the distance. What the hell? What? Flag came in late to back the Sea Dragons up all the way inside their 10. A break for the Guardians. Same box on two, ready. 47 yard putt. McKnight bottled up. The infraction yields poor field position. Let go! Gets the four man front. Bottled up, driven down. Gerald Willis led the charge. It's a loss of three with a TFL. Those D linemen love this when the, the offense is backed up like this. You're near that goal line. They know that they can tee off. They got a chance to make a play here that's going to matter. It's going to switch the momentum. And that's a great play by Jared Willis just squeezing through there and then make a play in the backfield. Played at Miami. Practice squad with two different NFL teams. Baltimore, Miami, and actually Green Bay make it three. Second and 13. Set go. Hot, hot. Five yards deep in his own end zone, Danucci. Ushered out at the seven was Savion Patton and Lakia Henry in the area. Great oh, coverage on the back end. You can hear Danucci talking to his offensive line. I can't keep running around, but this is a great coverage on the back end. We've seen Orlando a couple weeks now, and they played a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. In this game, it looks like they're playing a lot of more zone, trying to take away this pass game of Seattle that we know is so potent. Georgia special, Z dig on one, ready. Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday. Gotta go. Gotta go. Here we go. Take Blake Lock at two. Danucci gets it off. And the pass drilled, caught. 
near the 15, but he's going to be about three yards short of the first down. It was Damian Willis that came back to get it. That penalty proved costly. Fourth down and two. Justin Rogers back deep. Wobbler from the 45. Ran into his own blocker. Rogers to the 49, and that's it. Driven down hard. 40 yard punt, four yard return. 23 seconds to go in our first quarter. Now, the Sea Dragons, Joey, they started off with those two losses. Since then, it's been a different team. And talking to Jim Haslett this week, he really believes like they should be 5 0. Oh. A couple of missed opportunities those early weeks of the season. You look at this coaching staff in this roster, it, it felt like this would be a team that'd be a really good football team in this league. And it's those first two weeks, they just couldn't quite find a way to get over. I mentioned they, they lost the first one by four, the second one by two. Then they go to Vegas and get that win. They've been a different football team since then. I think you go back to that Josh Gordon touchdown in that game against Vegas. Davis, huh? First appearance for Devin Darrington. What and motion, movement, five yards. 59. Illegal snap. 59 of the offense. Five yard penalty, still first down. You mentioned the penalties. Big issue for Orlando, especially up front. Yeah, you get the ball in great field position. You get your offense back on the field after a, a great defensive stand. You can't start off this drive with a penalty. Savion Furkron, guilty party. Jalen Smith appears to be okay. At least he's out of the tent for now. Time incomplete. Gormady over the head of Dan Williams. It was Cole in coverage. Dan, come on. You got to go. You got to go. Quinn Dormady now three of eight passing Joey in this first quarter, getting the start. Come on. With 25 yards to show for it. Start of our second quarter, Camping World Stadium. Sea Dragons with a 3 nothing lead. Big play, Eli Rogers. Wide 80. What's that? And off Darrington. Nifty move, off and running with a pass. Inside the 20. And it'll be first down and goal for Orlando. Trey Walker shoved him out. That's a gain of 31. But the move by Darrington in the backfield. This play is, is going to the right. The jump cut hit, puts the right foot in the ground, plants and goes left. Receiver block down the field turns into a, into a big play. But offensively, this is what they need out of that run game. Orlando on the move. The keeper, Dormady, slides across the goal line. Will rule him down at the one. A penalty marker flies as well. Holding. 64 of the offense. It's a 10-yard penalty to still first down. I thought he had a path to sneak in there. He started the slide too early, Joey. I, I honestly think that he was thinking he was sliding into the end zone. Because you're absolutely right. He could have taken this ball and maybe taken a hit but a touchdown is worth a hit. He just goes down a little early, but once again, we have a penalty backing this ball up. One strike. One strike. Would have been close. Yeah, and, that, and that's not a slide. And, and to me, that would have been a touchdown. Maybe uh, Dean took a look at that and it'd be different, but that looks like a touchdown because he didn't actually slide. Sort of dope. First and goal outside the 15. Dormady time, pass caught. Back to the nine yard line for Rambo, the tackle by Brooks and a little extracurricular. Well, this is what we saw more of last week at oh, Vegas. For a gain of seven. Dedrick Thomas now the running back. Wide bunch right, gone right. China X rub on one. Oh, 
Michelle, Michelle! Touch. Thomas reaches back, made the grab, a short gain. And it was Cole with the tackle. He was coming quickly. Yeah, I think it's a good thing that ball was low and he got down because Cole was about to level him coming up from, from the safety position. This is a great break on the ball. And, and I think that's a situation where your quarterback realizes where the heat's coming from and tries to throw you away from the defender, uh, saving your guy from taking a big hit. 55, 55, 55. Bunch right, gone right, Z drive, F wheel, H angle. We gotta go, we gotta go. Michelle, Michelle, cut. Trying to set up the screen or the crosser, and Thomas fell down, the pass incomplete. That play felt yeah, like it was yeah, doomed yeah, from the start. Yeah. Hey, set the feet! Hey. Kick the field goal or go for it on third and long? Oh, you gotta kick this field goal. Once again, if you're Orlando, a, a penalty on, on the play that could have been a touchdown, backs the ball up, now you're selling for a field goal. These are the kind of plays that make it difficult uh, to get these wins, to get these situations. You're playing a Seattle team that's red hot. You had a chance to take the lead. Jose Borgales on for the short field goal attempt. 26 yarder from the left hash. Is good. Sails into the end zone on the fly. It is a penalty. Ball comes out to the 35. McKnight with a full head of steam. And another lane. There goes McKnight, a special teams ace. Tripped up inside the 40 plus territory. Two penalty markers fly after a return of 45 yards and the tackle by Marcus Murphy. Well, McKnight has been a big time weapon yeah, for yeah. Seattle. Yeah, During the return, personal foul, horse collar, for 38 of the kicking team. 15-yard penalty would be added to the end of the Coach play. Hazlitt, I was just talking with you there and said, Ben, don't break. You said, no, not really. So walk me through what you're seeing from your yeah, defense. We just gave up. We gave up a big play, a seven cut. We didn't cover very well. We need a better rush up front. Um, it's not Ben and break. That's it. That's They did a better job than us in that last series. Appreciate you, Coach. Now, one of the early big stories, Kelvin McKnight, punt return, 40 yards or more, a kickoff return now in that same area. Great field position for the Sea Dragons. Trying to reclaim the lead. Set go! Hot! Hot! Danucci just two of six, surveys, floats it, pass caught. Blake Jackson on the crosser at gain of three. June Jones, of course, one of the architects of the run and shoot offense. Told us it really hasn't changed a lot going back to the late 70s, early 80s. Hot, hot. Danucci on second down. End zone, man to man. And incomplete, Jordan Vesey covered by Ty Smith. The coverage on the back end by Orlando has been really good in this game. It's been the special teams plays by Seattle getting them to the plus side of the field, but the defensively, the way Orlando's playing in this game has been pretty impressive. Big play for Seattle. Set go! Hot! Hot! Dragons 104 on third down. Danucci steps up in the flats wide open. Scrambling for the first down and it's there. That was Vizi. Terrence Smith, the tackle, a gain of nine. The drive continues. Orlando just rushing three on this play and giving Danucci way too much time in the pocket. You can't cover for five, six seconds on the back end. Even though the initial coverage is good, you have to find a way to get pressure on Danucci and not let him stand in the pocket and look over your defense. Now, Vizia has been a practice squad player for a multitude of teams in the NFL. Did all he could to pick up the first down yardage. Here we go. Set go. Hot, hot. Empty backfield again after three straight passes. Danucci 
It'll be second down. VZ, the intended receiver. Smith in coverage. And a connection forming between 6 and 88. June Jones did tell us, too, the run and shoot has changed a little bit. He tries to add about 10 to 15 percent every year, according to the advice from the great late Bill Walsh, one of the architects of the West Coast offense. The two spent a ton of time together the end of Walsh's life. Here we go. We got to go. We got to go. Here we go. Set, go. Second and 10 inside handoff Bradwell. It'll be third down. Sea Dragons can still pick up a first down. Sanders the tackle after a two yard pickup. And this Sea Dragons offense, which is the best passing offense, they, they gain the most yards in the XFL. They just don't seem like they're in rhythm. They've had great special teams plays. They've had great field position, but their rhythm on offense doesn't seem the same as it's been the first five here games go. of the season. Here we go, here we go, trips right up. 881, X post, mesh, H choice on two, ready. Let's go, let's go. Josh Gordon, bottom of your screen. Danucci time his way. Almost intercepted. Nazim Hossein had a chance. Terrell Buckley is a, a, a really good defensive back when he played football. This has to be driving him crazy. These kind of plays, they've only created three turnovers on the season, two of them been interception. We've seen in this game, they've had three times, three opportunities to make interceptions. They need these kind of plays. It's great coverage. They fooled the quarterback once again, but you have to finish it and pick that ball off. 27-yard field goal by Eberly. Seattle back in front, 6-3, to three, down to Tiffany. Guys, I'm with defensive coordinator Tony Carter. You were just shaking your head after that near interception. You said you almost knew Jazim was going was gonna to get that. Yes, uh, we had a perfect call dialed up. Uh, we kind of understood the route concept, which was coming. Uh, just got He had his hands on the ball, just dropped it. So we were expecting a turnover there. So we gave up three points, uh, two field goals. We got to make some turnovers if we're going to win the game. Now the D.C. on the other side, Ron Zook, you told me he tried to recruit you to Florida back when he was the head coach there. What would he make of the way your, your unit's coming out today? It's kind of surreal because in high school he recruited me and then we talked pre-game and he's like, man, I'm getting old. You're coaching now. So it's fun going against guys that, that you mentor and look up to in coaching. Uh, so I'm just excited and blessed with the opportunity. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Tiffany, thank you. Coach Carter, bad news. Everybody's getting older. I'm right there with you. Turnover. Chatting pregame. For Coach Carter, his unit hasn't forced a turnover since week one. Orlando's going to get that first dub. That's really got to change in a hurry. Yeah, and they played well on the defensive side. You know, Seattle started in the plus territory two times because of special teams plays, and they held them to field goals both times. Pretty impressive defensively by Orlando, but they could have three turnovers. Free kick landed in the end zone. This is a major touchback. The ball will be placed at the 35 yard line. First down. So the kickoff into the end zone. We'll move the football to the 35. And better starting field position for Orlando. Okay, so now there's nine points, and you're still trying to get to that 43 and the over-under. You're feeling like a little better because there's been six points scored in this quarter, but still, uh, you're, you're looking for uh, something. As you can see, the, the live David line is hunt. amazing to me. Now the over-under down to 36 and a half. What it is. A touchdown here near the end of the half may make you feel a little bit better. Darrington far side, he has shown a purse. Wrapped up after a gain of two here. It was Holder that met him first near the line. With these two offenses, with what Orlando did last week, scoring at 32 points, and with Seattle being uh, maybe the best offense in the league, you expected to see more points in this game, but these defenses have played well. You never know what the second half will look like, especially after last week at Vegas. Rainbow, Rainbow. Just 150 total yards Michelle, Michelle. between these two so far. Time for Dormany unloads deep. Man-to-man -man coverage and incomplete. He's been just off the mark. Rambo was open. Holder, 11, 11, 11. 40 yards deep in coverage. Quarter, four man. Show 11 Quarter, four man. Show, show, bulldog. show. Empty right, empty right. Double smash. Last spot. Empty right, double smash, last spot. Hey, gone right. Gone right, gone right. 
David, David, side. Third down. 180. Right Andrew Jamil on the field for the first time. Likely offsides on the Sea Dragon, scrambling ahead. Dormity. He'll have a first down. Offside defense. Offside. Number 44, the defense was in the neutral zone of the snap. This five yard penalty has declined. The result of the play is a first down. Elijah Ponder crossed the line early. Yeah, definitely early off the snap. And Dormady with this half slide, half dive thing that he's doing. That was the same thing he did going into the end zone, which, you know, Dean Blandino thought, you know, that would be a touchdown. But he's sort of in between on that slide and the dive. In fact, it would have been a touchdown. Orlando at least one first down on every possession. And Joseph a tackle after a three-yard gain against Darrington. Second down and seven. Guardians in search of their first win. Seattle's won three straight. Week six of the XFL starting right now. We've got another game today. Two more tomorrow coming up. We're going into Monday, I should say. The game everybody geared up for. Michelle, Michelle. Touch. Second down. Dormany after the wind up has enough to move the chains. Andrew Jamil just checked in on this drive. Now in plus territory for the Guardians. Nice and right. Is any headset working? Because apparently. From the 41. Michelle, Michelle. Duck. Jump cut, crossing the 40. And another three yard gain. Hicks will bring down Darrington. Joe, it's starting to feel like Orlando right, is figuring right, something scat out. Dose right, scat right, Exxon. Dose right, scat right, Exxon. Dose right, scat right, scat right, scat right. David, David. David, 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 David. Right, 80. Time look for Seattle. Seventh play of the drive. Dormany off the back foot. Williams makes a man miss. Shoved out of bounds, crossing the 30. Antoine Brooks stopped that play, but after a gain of 12, Orlando right, on me, the move again, and personnel. Shane Matthews calling the plays. Personnel. Give me Tank, Tank, right, Tank, right, bunch, Z tank sore, right, Charlie bunch. two, pe Charlie three, Peeler, Tank, right, bunch, Z sore, Z cell, Z cell, Charlie Z three, Peeler, bunch, bunch. Hey, 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 Dan, 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 bunch, bunch. Tell him what he's got. We got to go, we got to go. We got to go, we got to go. Michelle, Michelle. Play clock winding down. Rambo in motion. All afternoon for Dormady, he'll buy some time. The dump off is there. Latimer, upended crossing the 15 and up for a first down after a gain of 12. Yeah, standing in the pocket here, plenty of time you could hear um, when the play call comes in and sometimes your offense coordinator will mess up a word in that play call and your quarterback is good enough he knows what the play should be and he'll call it correctly for the offense. Yeah, that's just what happened. Martin bounces this one outside retreats in makes something out of nothing inside the 10 that's a gain of almost eight the tackle Bison by Brooks. Left Z now throw it out there let's go hurry up. Don't slap Bison, Bison left. Bison left. Bison Z left. now. Now you can see the offense can get into that fast pace now that they have the comms up and they're ready to roll. They can get back to this fast pace offense. Martin straight ahead, weaving. Five yard line will be a first down. He's right there. Foul you with the tackle. Mark him just shy. Hey, hey, dose left, dose left, QB sneak. Dose left, QB sneak on the ball. Let's dose go. Left, QB dose sneak. left, QB, QB sneak. sneak. Dose left, dose left, dose left. Dose left, no, go out there. Michelle, Michelle. Touch. Dormany dives across the line, was shoved by Darrington. That should be enough for a first down. Play number 11, it'll be first and goal for Orlando.
12. I want to go. I want to go tank left bunch Z soar F counter right. Tank left bunch Z soar F counter right. F counter right. F counter right. I want ready. The hunt. Wait, Amy. Wait, that. Darrington. Towards the end zone, did he get there? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Orlando. And from three yards out, the Guardians grab the lead. And now the decision to go for one, two, or three. We'll spot the ball at the two. Tank left bunch, Z store, Z -store F, F counter, counter right. Put F the back right, on the other F side this time. Right. Ready? On the other side. Other Put side. the back on the other side. You got motion coming. David, David. Side. White 80. What's that? Guardians electing to go for the one. Inside hand up. Darrington smashing across. 10 to 6. Orlando out in front. After a 12-play, 65-yard drive, Joey, five first downs, that looked impressive. Yeah, and this Orlando offense has been moving the ball but not finding a way to get into the end zone. This is a great drive. 12 plays, 65 yards, five minutes and 55 seconds. Those are the kind of drives that give you momentum, let your defense rest. In this kind of heat and your defense gets to sit on the sideline and watch you drive the ball for almost six minutes, that's huge. Down to Tiffany. Hey guys, with Devin Darrington, and you just told me you guys went back to the same play. Why were you so confident in it? Uh, I just believe in my line. The boys been opening up holes all week. I know they're going to do it in game time, so when it's time to show out, we just did what we needed to do. When you first got the touchdown, you spiked that ball with authority. How good did it feel? It feel great. It's always good to score. Look, I don't play about this game. I love this game. I love my boys. But we're going to do what we need to do. Thanks. Catch your breath. Big time playmaker, Orlando with the advantage. 2.16 to go. Here in our second quarter. Well, the action picking up here at the end of the half. Kelvin McKnight has been electric for Seattle so far. Well, he has been explosive again. Two returns of over 40 yards. This one close, sent out near the 45 by Kimmel. So a return that time of 33 yards, Joey. Yeah, and the special teams are not making it easy on this Orlando defense. Is playing really good football in this game. Once again, the ability to jump outside. You can miss direction on a, on a return, jump to the other side, and just outrun those guys to the sideline. It's huge for your offense. This is the third big play, special teams-wise. Now can they get their Let's offense go. going? The offense that we know is one of the best in the XFL. Set, go! Sea Dragons with their full complement of timeouts. Time for Danucci. Double coverage and a late toss. They're going to get one BZ. eventually. Eventually, they have to get one. That was like their fourth chance to make a huge play. This defense is playing with tremendous confidence right now. And this is what happens. You see something on film, you're like, I think we can make some plays on the back end, and they're playing like it. Second down and 10, Danucci sidesteps a defender. Another dangerous toss. It'll be third down. Two penalty markers come in late. Milton, 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 Milton. Blake Jackson defended by Ty Smith. Pass interference. Defense number 27. Penalties at first down, spotted foul. That, in fact, was Smith who played his college ball at Towson. I think you take the, if you're on the, if you're a defensive coordinator, you take this play. That is a great break. Unfortunate angle gets the gets the pass interference. But Ty Smith, you love the aggressiveness. You love that they're in position. You love the fact that they're around the ball. Fifth penalty called against the Guardians. Danucci will buy a little you're extra. Not me. Got to the edge. Had something to say on the run. The burst of speed as he's skirted by Gerald Willis. You're not getting me. 
looks like Galloway on the deep ball back in the day. Yeah, but he just ran out of bounds. I would turn the corner. <laughs> <laughs> but it is great. Like in play, you get to hear these guys talking while being chased. A little high Take step off. at the end for Danucci. Empty backfield will take off again, this time for a first down and a lot more. Danucci into the red zone, upended at the 15. Big time block, that right side with Thomas and Owens, again at 24. First time out of the half, Seattle. Time out on the field. Joey Galloway, Roy Philpott with Tiffany Blackman and Eric McLean. It's been an exciting first half. The tempo, the pace, and the scoring Here we go. is picked up in our second quarter. Set, go. Uh, uh. Last play, the longest of the game for Seattle. Danucci running for 24. Back corner of the end zone here and incomplete. VZ, the intended target. Danucci didn't like the timeout, by the way. Why are we calling a timeout? I don't know. Why? Why? Too much time! Joey? He added a little bit to that afterwards. <laughs> but I mean, those are the situations when you when you have a quarterback, he had just made two big runs, uh, got some momentum, and, and was hoping to keep that going. Keep the defense out there, don't give him a chance Let's to go. breathe. And, and there's a lot of time on the clock, so why stop it there? Uh, Empty backfield, second and 10, Danucci quickly in the flats. Green slides out of bounds short of the line to gain. It'll be third and short. All right, let's get hey, this. Oh, oh, hey, we coming, let's all right? So trips look. right. All right. Trips right up. We got 81 X slant lightning. One, odd blast cover one. Blast cover one. Blast cover one. I'll go H bubble. It's empty. Lock up. Shoot, get outside. Bubble. You got it. Hey, hey. Go. Buzz, 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 go. buzz, buzz. Buzz it, buzz it. Play clock. Hot. Hot. Danucci. Had a man in the flats for a moment. Retreats back foot. He intercepted, and there it is. Najim Hossein, the pick, and the first turnover forced by the Orlando defense since way back in week one. Buckley and Carter are saying, thank goodness. Finally, we picked one of these balls off their third interception on the season and a huge one in the end zone, stopping the drive by Seattle. Joe, it should have happened. The previous possession against the Sea Dragons, the pick was dropped on the other side of the end zone, not this time, the pressure by Mapunga. Yeah, and that time Danucci couldn't outrun Mapunga on the outside. We've seen him do it on the left side. That time he couldn't get outside. He kept him in the pocket and made the play. There is a chance for an interception. This is later breaking on, breaking underneath the corner route. Another ball, hand on the ball. There's one that absolutely should have been intercepted. Another ball thrown. Aaron in the back of this defense. This defense has played well. I've been impressed by what this defense has done. Uh, the, Seattle's had the ball in the plus territory because of special teams. They've held them to field goals, and now they finally come up with their third interception on the season. Yeah, the special teams for Seattle have been a big time difference maker, but Orlando's defense, three situations has been significant, Water. Tiffany. Guys, and with the playmaker, Najim Hossein on the interception, they had some time on the offense. How were you able to put yourself in position? Uh, it was just a good job of our D-line, continue, continue to pursue, uh, made it difficult on the quarterback, and I was just in the right place at the right time. Um, shout out to the rest of the defense and the coaching call. So uh, it's just me doing my job, making a play that came to me. Catch your breath. Thank you. Boy, he's fresh off the field. I, I would not have been great with this kind of access. When I come off the field, <laughs> if you want to talk to me, you got to wait. I got to go catch my breath and get something to drink. I mean, we're right there. These players, you know, it's great for these guys uh, to Michelle. understand that and come talk even though they're tired. Martin, the running back, third down and short. He has enough for the first down. Drive continues for Orlando, trying to increase its lead here at the end of the half. Ghost right, ghost right. Scout right, Exxon. Scout right, Scout right, Scout right, Exxon, Exxon. Michelle, Michelle. Touch. Movement, that'll back him up five. And again, penalties an issue for Orlando up front. Be the sixth infraction of the day, this one on Stormont. False start. 
72 the offense. It's a five yard penalty, still first down. So DJ Storman. Like use a timeout. Go, let's go dose right Seattle, ace right Seattle. Don't, remember your check down. Tell the back to get out and check it down. Ace right Seattle. Okay, get out. Hey, hey, yeah, Seattle. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen, X, huddle up, huddle up, huddle up. Huddle, huddle. As a receiver, I used to Seattle, hate when they, right they would say, Seattle, remember your check down. No, don't, don't remember your check down. You don't Throw want it down that. Throw it down the field. If he doesn't have anybody, get his ass out, man. There's all kinds of green grass. Hey. We're going X and Z stops. Twins right, twins right, ace right. Seattle, X and Z stops. Orlando with two timeouts left. Seattle with two. You got over the ball. Yeah, yeah. Where's Eli twins, going? Twins. No, double, double, double. Yeah, dose, dose. David, David, side. Easy. Run right line. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. First here and we go, 15. Michelle, Michelle. Touch. Scored on their last two drives. Storm it in off the back foot and out of bounds. There is a penalty marker at the 40. It was Rambo, the intended receiver, the coverage by Chris Payton Jones. Dormady got popped. Pass interference. The 33 of the defense. Penalty is the first down at the spot of the foul. Elijah Holder. Oh no, fucking Tom, man! Penalty should have been called on Chris Payton Jones. It's a net of 20 in favor of the Guardians. I'm going to shift it back. Five yards. Ten first down of the half for Orlando. Hey, scout left. Scout left. Scout left. Are we good? Here we go. Michelle, Michelle. Cut. Mark picks up the pressure. Pass incomplete, looking for Dan Williams, the third. It was behind him, Jones in coverage. Four man. Give me, give me a uh, stop. Uh, uh, show. Hey, show. Hey, here we go. Over Let's go. Twins man. left. Listen, twins left. Scat left. Cancun. Cancun. Cody, run right to the safety. Hey. I got it. I got it, coach. Play the left side. Michelle, Michelle. Keep an eye on Cody Latimer. Number 11, the tight end. Passes incomplete, looking for Rambo and over his head. Got an empty coach. Wagon, deuce. All right, 11 Bulldog. 11 Bulldog. You good? Empty right. Empty right. Empty right. Gone empty right. right. Double smash. Last empty spot. right. Gone right. Double, double smash. smash last spot. spot. Gone right. Gone right. This smash route is usually two corners by the inside routes, and then a hitch, maybe an out, maybe an in by the underneath route, Michelle, which would be about five yards. Third down and 10, Dormady, Rambo, oh ushered he, out of the 40. He missed the corner route by Eli Rogers down, down the numbers. Yeah, we can go, we can go. Yeah, go hard count, make him jump. And then we're gonna call time. Empty left, gone left, double smash, wide spot. On two, hard count, hard count, hard count. Receivers do not move, hard count. Gone right, gone right. On two, double, 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 double. It's a hunt! 180! It's a hunt! Hunt! There it is. They jumped on fourth and four. Ponder crossed the line first. Do not blow it! Okay, I have one at 11 also. 72. Start. 72 the offense. It's a five penalty. It's Second penalty on this drive called against TJ Stormont. I thought the defense jumped first. I thought they did too. You have one challenge. Huh. Now this is the play I think Eli Rogers is, is gonna break 
down the numbers. He's by himself. Man, that's a chance to miss at a big play for Orlando. McKnight back deep. And watch that punt sail into the end zone. I would like to check in with Dean Blandino back at the XFL Command Center on that last sequence to see what his thoughts were. Dean, it felt like from our perspective, the defense jumped across first. So the defense did jump on the on the left side of the defensive line. They actually had the left tackle with the false start first, and the defenders in front of him did not break the neutral zone. So they are only protected is if you have a player jumping into the neutral zone, then that offensive player would be protected from a false start. But it was actually on the other side of the defensive line that jumped in first. Great perspective. Well, Terrell Buckley it, it looked like they, they moved, it looked like they moved on both sides. I mean, I know Dean has more looks than I have and more technology than I have, but to my naked eye, it looked like they we jumped actually, on both sides. Thank you. We actually screwed that up, but because they. So, on what you got, Tampa? Well, missed opportunity for oh, Orlando. Right. That previous play, Seattle will get it back. 20 seconds remaining. Green with the reception on Ty Smith, a gain of six. Yeah, Joe, you called it. They had a wide open receiver deep down the field. Missed the wide open receiver. Then they get a first down on on a on an offsides, which is then turned into a, a false start. I mean, that is those are the things that happen when you're in one of these seasons when you're 0 and 5. Those are the kind of things that happen. Two of the last three have been one possession losses for the Guardians. Danucci sidestepped one potential tackler. And pass will be caught by Green up near midfield. That's a gain of 10. Tampa Sink. Now Nick Coe Tampa probably Sink. should have had Tampa the sack. Sink. Trips left. Tampa Trips Sink. Left. All everybody's 80 Z9 Y choice special. Here we go. Choice special on, on the back on side. Ready. 80, 80. We got two timeouts left. Set, go! Hot! Hot! Danucci, 6 of 16 through the air. Leading pass from the XFL. We'll check it down to Jackson. That's a first time down out, ahead out, of the 36 out, and a quick time timeout. Timeout! Yes, timeout! Second timeout of the half. Seattle. Yeah. 30 seconds in duration. Would be about a 54 yard field goal attempt from here. JG, JG! What is he doing, man? Come on, bro, let's go! Here we go. Trip hat. Get down, catch the ball, time. Yeah. They're going to kick the field goal. After a brief deliberation, Dominic Eberly hit a 37-yarder earlier today. That is his longest of the season. Yeah, good job, come back. Good job. Played in four games with the Falcons in the NFL. This attempt inside the left hash from 54. Certainly has the leg. Only one miss this year. On the way, and it is good. So Seattle with a field goal at the horn to make it a one-point game. And one second remaining here in our first half. Joey, how are you feeling about that over-under now? Not great, uh, but, uh, you know, like I said, I expect these offenses to be better in the second and in, in in the second half, third quarter, fourth quarter, you got a lot of time left, but not great. A lot of field goals. Well, a huge half for Seattle yes, special sir. teams. Good hit. Good hit. And Danucci, Joey, just six of 16, but you have the three field goals, including the 54 yarder by Eberly, and also the three long returns. Yeah, I think the long returns have been the key. 
uh, for this Seattle offense, which hasn't really gotten on track. It started off slow, uh, and honestly, Bill, Orlando's defense, having held them points. to nine points so far, is it's great defense. See that jump, man. The Guardians. Off the board. Terrell Buckley will have the advantage at halftime, barring something very strange. The first time this year that has occurred, and that kickoff out of bounds. 35, right? 35 yard line? 35 yard line, yeah. 45. Oh, 45, that's right, 45. Free kick out of Free bounds. Kicking team. The ball will be placed 15 yards from the spot of the kick. First down. Orlando. Joe, are you taking a shot here now that you got the ball to 45? Maybe? Yeah, I'm absolutely taking a shot here. Um, throw one up. Come on, Jose. Let's see if we can either make a play or get a pass interference call down closer near the goal line. Well, you got big Cody Latimer. Those huge mitts. Well, kickoff out of bounds in the XFL. One of the worst penalties that you can be dealt. Come on, come on. And a timeout. Give Orlando a chance to talk things over. The strategy. Hey, just get your feet smart. Hey, can we? Well, I ain't got my headphones on. Do we, can you get it there? Do we need? Let me see that. I mean, I can get it there. But, yes. But, but, hey, saying we up. Let's, let's just throw a little, that little underpass. Run a draw. What, do we have it? What is that called? We got to go. No. We got to go. It's X block. X block. X block. Okay, twins right. Y'all need to tell Dan what to do. Twins right. Right X box. Twins right Titan, scat right X box. Split down, you're running a shallow under the Somebody needs to tell Dan they're blocking on the other side for you, okay? No, not that quick, not that quick. Go ace, go ace right, go ace right, go ace right. Solid, solid, okay? To back on the other side, come get on him out side. of the way. Come over here. Michelle, Michelle. Set. Seven DPs on the field. Dormany take the underneath route to Dan Williams. No penalty, and that will do it for our first half. Kickoff target zone between the goal line and the 20. Orlando will get the football to start our second half. Justin Rogers side his own 15, and he'll bring it out to the 25. 15 yard return. Finch the tackle. Quentin Dormady got the start. Former standout for Tennessee, Central Michigan. A cup of coffee with Houston. Numbers so far have been solid, and he hasn't turned it over, Joey. That's probably as big as anything. Yeah, you're absolutely right. They just got to get this offense moving, get some points on the board, score some touchdowns, giving themselves a chance to win. 10-9, third quarter underway. 95 degrees almost here. Camping World Stadium. Devin Darrington had the Wait touchdown in the first half. Jermaine Martin gets the start in the backfield in the second. Try to bounce it outside. Can't get to the edge. Driven down at the 25. The TFL by Clarence Hicks. Orlando in search of that first win. F spot. Quarter, quarter, Can't quarter, quarter. Deuce Knoxville. Dan, you got a curl. Rambo, you got the flat. What it is? Out in the flats, Rambo tried to make one defender miss. That was Chris Peyton Jones. He could not. Short gain of two, and quickly it's third down. Outstanding tackle by Peyton Jones coming up, keeping that to a short gain, setting up a third and long. But way to come up and make a play. Righty, why spot? Righty, why spot? Yep, 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 yep. Michelle, Michelle. Cut. Empty backfield. Dormady steps up. Dormady takes off. Dormady has the first down and a little bit more. The slide across the 42, a gain of 15, and the drive stays alive for the Guardians. Great play by Dormady. There's good coverage on the back end, nothing open, but great. 
the, look at the offensive line work. They're giving him enough time in the pocket. This is, I believe, their second time all season long. They've had uh, the same starting hey. offensive line, yeah. and these guys yeah. are playing yeah. well today. There you go. There you go. Yes. How about the Guardians? No three and outs today, Joey. That's progress. Michelle, Michelle. Rambo in motion. Straight ahead. And a quality pickup on the ground, a six yard gain. Cole the tackle. Z Sore, Charlie 2, Peeler. Tank left bunch, Z Sore, Charlie 2, Peeler. Cody, Cody, two point stance right there. Two point stance. Who is that? Is that Cody? Logan, you got the wheel route. Logan, you got the wheel route. Michelle, Michelle. Ah! It's Logan Carter, the backup tight end. On the wheel, was open. Instead, they'll check it down to Martin. Martin's been featured on this drive. He'll stay in bounds. Pushing ahead, out of bounds towards the 41. Well, Ferris on the wrong end of that delivery. And Martin with a full head of steam. How good is it for your coordinator to be able to tell guys, hey, you got the wheel. You got this route. You line up over here. That access, letting these guys talk up until the play is, is run, is terrific for the coordinator to communicate to each one of these guys and tell them what they have to do. Now Martin using his 215-pound frame. Give way to Devin Darrington again, Michelle, who scored Michelle. the only touchdown of the game. Play fake, Dormady driven down in midfield. Zafir Kelly, the sack. And Darrington that time, Joey missed the block. Yeah, he's a little too flat, close to the line of scrimmage with the play fake. Doesn't have his eyes outside. You'll see a lot of times where a running back will just skip the play fake. When they see their guy coming that they have to pick up, this time he carries out that play fake and just misses his, his blitzing linebacker that he, wider, he's responsible Dan, for. Dan, get wider. Kelly right. to stand out at SC State. Two, two. What it is? Loss Watch of eight. Laid handoff. Darrington goes down again, and Kelly makes another play. It's a loss of three more. That's a tough call on, on, on second and long after taking a sack. You know, I, I would like to put the ball in Dormady's hands. He's proven to be these past couple Let's weeks go, a quarterback that can handle it. Let him make the plays. A promising empty drive. Right, empty right. Seattle F jerk. Just be smart with it. Seattle F jerk. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. Set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F. White 80. White set. Lead snap for Dormady. Underneath. Head to the 40 and back close to the original line of scrimmage for Eli Rogers. So a gain of 12. Decision time for Terrell Buckley. The same thing happened in practice. That's the exact same stuff happened in practice. Come off the edge, got free, and he get it. Same stuff. But at some point, we got to do something to make sure that don't happen, right? I didn't even see it. Okay, what happened? I, yeah, I. Mac Brown to punt, McKnight. Sorry, play fake. To return, fake the fair catch. Checks up into the end zone off the carry. Well, you're doing a great job of at least trying to stay cool. Seattle gets it back, passing the flats incomplete, looking for Bradwell. I think Tiffany's okay, right, Joey? I'm calm, cool, and collected, guys. I don't know what's up with E over there. He can't hang down here. <laughs> it's pretty sad. McLean used to play football. Come That's on. the crazy hey, part. Hey, Joey, what did we wear in football? Helmets. Helmets. I don't have hair, bro. Get a Tiffany's helmet. Tiffany's over there with, hey. like, the thickest hair I've ever have, seen. My hair's black, jet black. Exactly. Sun doesn't come through it. Oh, come it's on. It's a good it, science it lesson right now. It comes to it. Let go. <laughs> the flip side of that hat is a bright oh. orange. Second and ten. Handoff left side. Bradwell's got a first down and a big play for Seattle in the plus territory. Gain of 18 yards. Great blocking on the left side. It was Barry Wesley that led the charge. Paul Gratton as well. And the momentum is, is, is with Seattle right now. At the end of the half, they got that field goal as well as Orlando has played in that first half. They still gave up the field goal at the end, and now Seattle has the ball back. These are those moments in the games that matter so much. Who can maintain the momentum? Bradwell again. He has the hot hand. That offensive line opening holes close to another first down. Guardian, Guardian, Guardian. 
Guardian, Guardian. Trips left. Trips left. Okay, we got over Inbert, three state. Z pump. Over Inbert, three state. Trips left. 580 Nebraska. Z pump. X dig. The skies, the skies. Check out. Hot. Hot. Danucci retreating, heaving one deep. Man to man coverage. Penalty marker flies. It was VZ again this time. Shaq Wiggins was on top of him. Pass interference for 21 of the defense. Penalty is a first down in spot of the foul. Wiggins played his college ball at Tennessee. Too handsy that time. The deep route by Jordan Vesey. Yeah, he knew he was beat, and then he just made a decision. I'm going to grab on as opposed to give up the big play, maybe a touchdown. It's the stop and go, and these guys on the, on the defensive secondary for Orlando have been very aggressive in this game, so it's a great play call by Seattle. Let's go stop and go and see if we can get a penalty. Let's go! Moving quickly, inside give. This time bottled up, and Bradwell stopped at the line for no gain. It was Trayvon Sanders in there first. Eighty, eighty, eighty. Let's go. Uh, hot. Halfway through a scoreless third quarter. Come back here to VZ. Wiggins this time no contact. Incomplete. Denucci's been a little off in this game. Not the, not the passing offense that we've seen through the first five weeks of the season. They've been a little off, just 40% completions in this game, and they're so much better than that. Not sure if it, it, it could be the heat. It could be the heat. They're coming down from, you know, they're in Arlington right now where they practice, but they come over here on the hottest day that we've had so far, and it could be the heat affecting this offensive uh, pass. Like their scheme, everything looks a little off. Third down and 10. Danucci steps up, fires a strike into the end zone for the touchdown. Blake Jackson hauls it in. Just as I said, they looked a little off. That's the Danucci we've seen all season long right there. Great throw, great play call, great catch on the back end by Jackson. Sit and drop eight every damn play. Two. Right Where's up. the ball? 881. Sea Dragons will go for two. Right up. 881. X return. Uh, and I got choice special. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 881 on two. Ready. High low off that one backer. Spotted from the five. 881. Here we go. Set go. Hot. Hot. For the 10th touchdown strike of the year for Danucci. All afternoon to survey again. Off the back foot and it's caught. Jacor Pearson leads the XFL in receiving yards and receptions. Finally gets a touch and accounts for two. Great coverage initially on the back end, but Danucci just too much time in the pocket to look at this defense and finally finds a way to get this ball to as he's falling away. Right in the seam, delivered a strike. How about that window right over the linebacker between the safety in front of the corner? That's a great throw. And then on this play, you have to find a way to get pressure. The rushing three, sitting back, eight guys in coverage. It's just too much time for Danucci. Down to Eric. Just great momentum right there, getting in the end zone, getting the lead for your team. You said it was just a simple seam route, yep. middle of the field. What did you see from the defense? Uh, I seen they, go, they went too high. Safety got outside of me, so I just showed them like I was going to corner. Hit, the, hit my plant, went inside, and they have to do too much, and just catch the ball. It felt it. like there was a little bit of relief there with you yeah. guys getting in the zone. How do you yeah. feel about that? I feel great, man. You know, it's great as for, for a team, to, for us to get that uh, momentum-wise. You know, we're away, uh, facing a little bit of adversity, but, you know, we're, we're together, and we're going to stay together throughout this whole game. Appreciate your time. Yes, sir. Play quarterback in college for a brief period. His second touchdown reception of the season. This one now gives Seattle a seven-point lead. Here's Justin Rogers from the five. Tripped up crossing the 25 by Cole. 
We got some fans that made the trip down, Joey. Yeah, and they don't mind this heat out here. Maybe that's the hat that, that Eric McLean needs right there. Get, get him that Sea Dragons, that big orange hat. Big top cat. I love it. Dormady loves this play. The rolling out to the right, bootleg out to the 40. And a gain of 14, a first down for Orlando. Yeah, now we're at 27 points. And if you had the initial 43 number at the over-under, you're feeling a little better. Pick, the score is picked up. But if you got in at the 36 and a half, you're feeling really good right now. I love the update on the over-under, the total. Using tempo, Latimer loots one defender into plus territory. Close to another first down. So Cody Latimer getting involved in the passing game. You see this cut block out wide. In, in this league, you have a five-yard box, and you can still go down and cut. That's different different rules than you see in the, in the NFL, and you see how effective that cut block is. Guys aren't used to seeing it. Hey, Mark? Joey, were you a guy that went up top, or were you cutting guys like that? Um, I was a guy that would just run my guy off. Smart. I don't, I don't want to hit the ground. I, I don't want to get dirty. I'm just going to run my guy off. He doesn't know if it's a pass or a run. And for the first down by Martin, drive continues for Orlando, trailing by seven. Devin Darrington now the running back, scored a touchdown in the first half. This one floated out of bounds, looking at Rodgers incomplete. Cole was in coverage. I remember your career. I just thought about the flyer, man. You could always take the top off a of defense. Yeah, and that's the thing is, is you can run the defender off. It's as good as blocking him. Michelle, Michelle. Touch. Jermaine Martin just went into the tent for Orlando. The crosser. Dan Williams stays alive. Dan Williams. It's something out of nothing. It'll be a gain of four. Well, Bryce Thompson missed the tackle. Otherwise, that play is halted dead in its tracks. Orlando, much better job on that play, picking up Trips the blitz, left. giving the quarterback Trips a chance left. to get the Kick ball out. Right. Trips left. Trips Kick. left. Right. Kick right. Kick right. Twins, Kick right. Twins left. Twins, Twins left. left. Back on that side. Okay, come over here. Come over here. He wants it on this side. David, David. What ain't it? Oh Third down handoff, Darrington picks up a first down and a lot more. There he goes. Darrington to the house. Corner, right? Forty-three yards on third down and six, the second score of the game for Devin Darrington. One point game, Orlando will go for the tie. Charlie three, Orlando. Double left, Charlie three. Jamal, you got the pick. They moved it to the five, they'll go for two. Rainbow. Michelle, Michelle, touch. Dormany, blitz, pressure, middle screen, no. And the ball came loose. Lalos takes it all the way back to the 23 from the five-yard line as opposed to the one-point conversion from the two. Kelvin McKnight must see TV today. This time brought down at the 20. All access with Coach Buckley keeping his team in it. Orlando, go to this. Let's go. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. There it is! Make a miss! Make a miss! Yeah! He's getting it to you right now. Take your time with him, right? You don't have to rush that. You rush, you're gonna run to him. Let's go, D. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need it. They don't score, we win. Was a false start on the kickoff team. Flag comes in late, and the penalty yardage now added to that return. Spotted at the 26, Joey Galloway, Roy Philpott, Eric McLean, Tiffany Blackman in Orlando. Hey, Jack Swank. Jack Swank. 
JG. Re-kick, re-kick, re, -kick, re, -kick, re -kick. So off the penalty, Joey, they'll make them re-kick to try to get better field position. That makes sense. That makes sense. The return game's been really good in this game. Uh, two times across the 50-yard line. It makes sense. That's been their best phase of the game for Seattle as their special team. So it makes sense to, to get another return. We'll do that all over again, a one-point contest. Coach Buckley trying to press those Run right by. buttons. Run by. Him. I got it. I got it. I got it. No, no, come, no, on, come on, come on. Just one. Give you a break. Come on. Yes. Come on hey, we need. Hey. Come on, man. I got it. I go, got get, it. go get cold. Go get cold. Go get cold. Cold. Go get cold. Run by. Him. Run by. Him. Go make. Keep it contained. Oh, like I'm Target zone remains the same even with the five yard penalty. The kickoff coming now from the 25. The ever dangerous Kelvin McKnight from his 11. Shifting. Nice maneuver ahead to the 30. Return of 19. Tackle by Gimmel once again. Okay, Quentin Dormady's had a solid afternoon. I don't know if it is. Joe, it feels like Ben DiNucci's getting better. Yeah, they're starting to get into a rhythm, but I'm impressed by Quentin Dormady from what he did coming off the bench last week. And in this game, when they have 293 rushing, they have 293 total yards, 142 pass, 151 rush. Amazingly balanced by this Orlando offense. Injured player. It's Lee. Mike Lee. Quickly to his feet. His 300 total tackles during his KU career. Sea Dragons a one point lead. A lot of time left in this one. Here we go, 91 on two, ready. Yep, yep, yep. Set, go! Uh, it's the four-man front. Bradwell, the running back, wide open in check down mode. The pass deflected off the carom. It's Blake Jackson that couldn't grab it. Smith. Trip slip. Hey, it's O O personnel. They're gonna come out and empty. Hey, we're going Falcon Blitz. Falcon Blitz. Falcon, Falcon, Falcon. Falcon, Falcon, Falcon. No, let's go prop over there, uh, four. Let's Falcon, go prop. Falcon, Falcon. 880 prop. You got it, Z? Okay. Prop. And we got one. go. Uh, Empty backfield. Danucci flings it. Passes caught. Green. First down and then some. Jawan Green plus territory. And a gain of 23 yards through the air. Danucci fired a strike under duress. Orlando sent a blitz, and, and they're seventh in the league in sacking the quarterback. So if they're going to get pressure, they need to send blitzes. But if you do that, it's man to man on the backside. One guy misses, it's a big play. Longest pass play of the game for Seattle. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ty Smith slow to get dog, up. Dog, dog. Here we go. 861 on two. Ready. Let go. Uh, Danucci across the middle. Incomplete. Green. Probably should have reeled that one in. A lot of traffic in front of him. Yeah, a little behind, but definitely a catchable ball. And Danucci does a nice job of finding that hole in the zone by Orlando. This needs to be a completion. Take what they give you. Trips left up, 861 Houston scissors. D's on the back side. 861 on two, right. 861. 
You good, four? Yep. Set, go! Hot! Hot! On second down, Buchanan replaces Smith on defense. Danucci, that's a strike and a first down. Blake Jackson inside the 30. And he toasted Justin Rogers for a gain of 18. And Orlando's just in a situation they got to decide whether we're going to go after the quarterback, try to sit back in zone. And this time, Danucci, with time in the pocket, takes a look and hits yep, this yep, corner yep, route. Dying the knee over top. It's just a great throw. On two, ready. Big game for Jackson. Set, go! Hot! Hot! Josh Gordon back on the field. Check down to Pearson. His second catch. Tackled at the line, and that's it. Now Gimmel sniffed that one out. Trips left up. Trips left up. 861 dog. And I got Cube on the backside. 861 on two. 861 dog. And I got Cube on the backside. Now the run and shoot known for passing. They've passed on every play on this drive. Danucci, Pearson. At the 24, and that's it. Four yard gain. Come on, boys, let's go. Starting to hear and see more of Jacor Pearson. 860 on two, ready. Back and south if you catch the short one. And if you don't think. Let go! Hot, hot. Another pass play, Danucci, near side, VZ, first down. So on third down and four, VZ tumbles across the 10. We'll rule him out near the 11. Orlando right now content to sit back in this zone. And if they do that, they have to find hey. a way to either get pressure We've or they're going to have to be, be more aggressive. aggressive. Hey, me and Coach Buckley thinking Jinx. the same. Yeah, if, you, if you're, if you're going to sit back in this zone, you got to be more aggressive like they were in the first half. In the first half, I was impressed by how aggressive their corners were, their safeties were, and breaking up passes. Now they seem like they're sitting back in a little softer uh, type of zone. That was amazing. You said the A word at the same time Coach Buckley did. Danucci will take off. Stopped at the eight by Patton. The former athletes think alike. you got to come up. Sea Dragons on the move here at the end of the third. Let's see if they run Inside. another play. And they will not. Hey. Entertaining third quarter in the books. Certainly understand that. Sea Dragons on the move. Bradwell, deep handoff. No real estate available. Shoving backwards, shoved backwards rather at the 10 and a loss of one. Patton met him behind the line. Really slow Let's developing Z play. Z bunch right, Z bunch right, 60 Z mesh, H corner. We're going into this. Yeah, go left then, 61. Z bunch left. left, Z bunch left. X bunch, X yes. bunch, here we go. 61, 61 mesh, X mesh, H corner. Ready. Let's go, 61, here we go, let's go, we gotta go, we gotta go. The Nucci has four straight completions of five yards, seven yards, five yards, nine yards. They, they have to be aggressive here on defense. Hot, hot. Josh Gordon without a catch so far today. Time for Danucci. All afternoon. Does he want to take off? No, floats it to the corner and incomplete. Green, the intended receiver. There were two Orlando Guardian defenders in the area. Buchanan was a part of that mix. Well, Seattle scored on four of its last six possessions. No red zone touchdowns yet. I couldn't tell if one of these defenders gets a hand on this ball, but Danucci staying alive. They're rushing three. You have time. If they didn't get a hand on it, they should have. There's a lot of defensive hands up there. And once again, on the back end of coverage, really good by Orlando. Eberle, 27-yard field goal, bangs it through with ease. Twenty to sixteen, our score. You know, every week we do 
the way to Galloway. And right here, the Citrus Bowl, 1995, the speedster. About two touchdown grabs. That long one from 69 yards out. And it feels like, Joey, that maybe you could still do that today. Call me crazy, but still very well constructed, right? <laughs> you could pull it off. Um, I would be good until someone tackled me. <laughs> and then at that point, I don't know how good I'd be. I'd be like McLean down there with an orange beanie on my head. But uh, <laughs> when I finally was coming to Orlando, coming to this stadium, thought back to some good times. That, that was uh, unfortunate we lost the game. But it was fun. It was, it was a great matchup, and, and I had a chance to get in the end zone a couple times. I just remember your speed. I knew that if you got a step, you were taking it to the house. Yeah, I had. To, I still have the speed. The speed is still there. I just don't know that I want to get tackled again. And the half shirt, back in that, man, that was, those were fun days right there. That's a good time. That was the look. That was the look. A little celebratory action there at the end. Rogers, the spin, I think uh, Big Mac. You've got a question? Yeah. Uh, hey, Joey, was this the best bowl game you played in, Citrus Bowl? Unfortunately. <laughs> was it really? Uh, wow. Well, back in, that, back in that day, back all in the bowl day. games were still very important bowl games. They were great matchups. I mean, what they are you were, saying? I played you know three I mean? Orange Bowls, a national championship. What yeah, no, doing? nowadays you got you young whippersnappers are playing in an era of <laughs> – <laughs> the playoff matters, and then the other games are sure. sort of just there. So you played you know? like the little brother of the Orange Bowl. That's cool. Basically, but uh, but I enjoyed myself, and we got great gifts, and that's what matters. The real question is, how is McLean still not sweating? I'm, I'm unsure of how that's going down. <laughs> oh, he's sweating. Don't tell anybody. Dormady under duress. The dump off is there to Cody Latimer. And a big play with a penalty marker down at the five. Referee has roughing the passer. We're going to attack that. Um... Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Number two, the defense. This 15 yard penalty, he added to the end of the play with an automatic person. 30 yards plus 15 with the infraction, Joey. And this is a big answer by Orlando. Man, that is a bang bang call on hitting the quarterback. But Dormady does a terrific job rolling out, seeing the pressure, and getting this ball out of his hands. Antoine Brooks came crashing in. That could show sportsmanship there. Yeah, these guys got to go get on the same airplane going back. That's what's interesting about this league is these guys go get on the same airplane and fly back together. So all the chippiness you see during the game, they have to get rid of that and then go get on the plane together. David, David, 180. Could you imagine Ohio State and Michigan doing no, the same thing? never. In the flats, incomplete. Logan Carter Let's with a drop. Twins right, twins right, motion, bison right. Twins right, motion, bison right. X now. X now. Let's go! Hey, you got me, dang it? X now. Hey, if you like the hey, if you like the now, just fire it out there, don't make X. Now it's just a stop, one step, step back. If it's there, if the if the coverage is soft enough, they'll just fire it out there, try to get five, six yards. Martin the running back. He'll fake the handoff. Dan Williams the third outside, dragging a defender. And that was Ferris that went for a brief ride. No, I'll make that decision. Sam. Six yard gain. Right, let's go twins right, twins right, twins right, twins right, Seattle F curl, twins right, Seattle F curl, ace right, ace right. Right. Wide 80. Right Third and four, Dormady floats it, Latimer incomplete, double coverage, Zafir Kelly. He'll break that pass up. Dormady just short armed that one, boy. He wishes he had that one back. If he lead, if he leads this ball out there, if he just throws it a couple more yards, Latimer has a touchdown. He's wide open down the middle, beating the middle linebacker. Just didn't get it out there. Jose Borgales on to attempt a 50-yard field goal. Pass in the field! Pass in the field! Freaking field goal, field goal, field goal. A quick decision by Coach Buckley. From the left hash, Borgales, plenty of leg, and it is good. DC has yet to lose a game this season. Roughnecks hit four and one. Back in Orlando, Elvin McKnight. 
Stance receiving the kick on his own five. Sent down sliding out at the 32. That's how the last drive ended for the Sea Dragons. All access. Danucci trying to spot Jawan Green in that back corner and quickly double covered after Danucci bought a little time. Bradwell, the running back on first down. And Joey Seattle scored on three straight possessions. Maybe not the touchdowns, all those situations. Gemmel with the tackle behind the line and a loss of two. Yeah, the last three and four of their last six. But Orlando is still in this game because they're holding them to field goals in, in a lot of these situations. Uh, we're starting to see the Seattle offense get going, get moving the ball, but they can't get it in the end zone, which is why this is still a close game. Harold Thompson also involved in that last stop. Seattle leading by one. Let go! Hot! Hot! Time again, Danucci to survey. Float that one short and out of bounds. Yep, trips right up. Hey, 881. Listen up, listen up. Wiley. Hey, double buzz, double buzz, double buzz, double buzz, double buzz. Hey, stick safeties, play the stick safeties. Justin. When he says play the stick safety, he's telling the safeties don't drop deeper than the first down. They want him sitting at the first down oh, markers, right, push, ready push. to pounce on any ball thrown in the air. Double buzz sounded like pressure, no blitz. The dump off on the crosser. Blake Jackson upended. Well short of the line to gain, it was Terrence Smith. Just four stack, yards on the return. play. 44 stack, middle return. 44 stack, middle return. Man, Orlando does not look like an 0-5 ball club right now, and these fans appreciate it. These fans that come out here and sat in this heat, they really appreciate the way this Orlando team is playing. It, it's amazing they're 0-5, but they look like the better football team, and these fans still coming out here supporting this team is pretty impressive. Cameron Nizalek on to punt. Justin Rogers back deep to receive. Nucci on the bench, leading passer in the XFL. And a wobbler. The penalty marker down. Rodgers bumped hard and driven down. The ball came out. Heads up play, Tremaine Washington. And a lot to unpack. We'll check the penalty. Formation. This All right, we're going to attack that on. No. Illegal formation. Kicking team. Not enough players on the line of scrimmage. His five yard penalty will be added to the end of the play. First down. Joey, so much force on this play by Daniel Joseph. The ball sprung loose. And what a heads up play to scoop this ball. And, and then get positive yards. Penalty flag is down, so there's going to be some added to this. But this is a huge play for Orlando. It's in the position in the fourth quarter, down one point to a team that has won three in a row. This is huge for Orlando. The plot thickens for the team in search of its first victory of the year. They've been close. Best starting field position for the Guardians right here. Michelle. And Martin, the stutter step, rumbling his way into Seattle territory. Down to Tiffany. Hey, guys, I'm with Tremaine Washington. You picked up that loose ball. What was the awareness like for you? I just seen ball, get ball. See ball, get ball. Had opportunity. Made the best of it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that simple, guys. See ball, get ball. Sometimes that's all it takes. Meanwhile, a penalty. Called on the Guardians, their tenth, and that'll cost them a nice gain on the ground by Martin. Empty right, empty right. San Fran, Ohio. Uh, gone right, gone right, gone right. Oh, David, David, 
An incomplete, Dormady looking for Logan Carter, his second drop. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go uh, 11 personnel, 11, 11, 11. Let's go twi uh, bunch right, bunch right, scat right, Chicago. Bunch right, scat right, Chicago. Bunch right, scat right, scat right, scat right, scat right, scat right. Kevin Darrington back on the field. Second and 15. Dormady, Rambo, and incomplete. Chris Peyton Jones snuck in there at the last second. Five and white. Third and 15, Dormany floats one, out of bounds, and just past the reach of Dan Williams. Well, a promising drive again. The penalty coming in after a big gain on the ground. That'll be the first three and out for Orlando this afternoon. And Dan Williams slow to get up. Just off his fingertips, pretty good throw out to the sideline. You can hear Dormady a little upset about the route. Uh, but think about that drive for Orlando. They have it at the 50-yard line. They get a penalty. Now it's first and 15. Then they have a drop the ball. And it was and blocked. This. Special teams fiasco. Seattle has thrived on special teams today. The punt block. And Elijah Holder was able to bust through the line of scrimmage. I mean, that sequence by Orlando, they get the stop, get the ball on the 50. They get lucky, they pick up the scoop, the ball, get the ball on the 50, have a penalty, have a drop pass. Uh, incomplete on third down, and then a punt blocked, putting Seattle in position on the six-yard line. Down to Eric. Hey, 33, man, you got your hands on the football there, heads up play. What happened? How'd you get back there? Just trying to execute the play. Coach gave me on the blitz. Got to do my job, make the play. That's did, all it is. Did, did you know it was going to happen? I mean, it looked like it was easy for you getting back there. Every time I'm going, I want it to happen. So I'm going to make it happen when I'm in. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Played his college ball at Stanford. Did Holder an enormous play for Seattle's special teams. They'll set up shop first and goal from the six. And Ben DiNucci in the red zone this afternoon. Not as efficient as he has been. One of seven and one pick. Could have been two. Hammonds fell down. They've had four trips and just got nine points out of it. So the defense by Orlando give them some credit. They've been very aggressive on the back end. Uh, they've done a nice job with their zone coverages and slowing down Seattle's offense. Ty Smith back on the field as well for Orlando. Here we go. 90, one, two, ready. 90. Let's go. Hot. Hot. Josh Gordon, bottom of your screen, Danucci. By a little bit of time and now flush. Ben DiNucci to the edge. And a pump fake. He's going to fake the Patrick Mahomes pass. Matt Elam made sure he didn't score. It's a gain of two, third and goal. I think Josh Gordon is catchless on this day, and this would be an area you would think that with his height and his skill, he would be important for an offense, but they haven't been able to get him the ball yet. And again, great coverage on the back end, leaving only the run for Ben DiNucci as quarterback. Just two targets for Gordon, third down and goal. Set, go! Hot! Hot! Danucci back in the end zone for the touchdown, Jawan Green. Third of the season and a big strike 
for Seattle on the road. We talked about this zone coverage. You can see just a hole in the back of the zone. It, not quite sure where the guys are supposed to be. You see defensive backs always looking at each other. Taron Smith standing at the goal line, doesn't back up at all, and Ben DiNucci does a nice job dropping it right over his head. Seven-point lead. Seattle will go for two. Set, go! Ah! Danucci zings one incomplete, looking for Pearson. He was covered by C.J. Holmes, so the lead remains at seven after the missed two-point try. Yeah, and the people that got in on the over under 43, they're now happy. The people that got in at 36, 36 and a half, they were happy before that touchdown. So the, the over-unders, I think there's another one out. I think it's moved up to 48 and a half, so it's, it's still out there. Let's check in with uh, Eric McLean. Ben, I told you at halftime, if you're mobile, good things happen, and you get out on the edge there, make things happen. What the offense look like there? Uh, that was all special teams. We got the ball on the six-yard line. It's our job to punch it in. We were able to do that. Up seven, still six minutes left, long game, the way these games play out. So we got to uh, keep our foot on the gas, put some more points up. Appreciate you, Ben. Yep, thanks. Eric, appreciate you. Let's take a look at this next kickoff, and we will see if Orlando can redeem itself on special teams. That has been an issue. Yeah, we down. We just got to punch it in, man. Yeah, we good. We good. And Dedrick Thomas back deep to receive. An outstanding career at Mississippi State. Plays perfectly for that target zone. Thomas weave his way ahead to the 24. Let's take a look at our game flow brought to you by Progressive. We mentioned special teams, Joey. Well, Seattle has been so impressive, and Kelvin McKnight in particular. Yeah, they've been the two times getting to the plus side of the field. This one looked like it was going to be a, a touchdown, and then another big return. They've been huge, and then blocking this punt, which is the first one I've seen uh, in, in one of our games. Huge play, getting the ball on the six-yard line, giving them a chance to go up by nine. Give me some love for the kickers as well. 54-yarder was drilled Tell Trey to lesser run. by Eberle. At the long returns, the block punt. No, no, no. Michelle, Michelle. Cut. Still a one-possession game. Straight ahead goes Martin. And the bowling ball rumbles across the 35. That's a first down. Michelle, Michelle. Touch. Orlando now a buck 62 on the ground. Charleston Rambo with the screen. Ushered out near the 42 by Brooks. Give me dose right, dose, dose right. right. Scat right, X drive, Clippers to the right. Y has the corner. Rambo, you got the scat right. Eli, scat give right. me a good double, dig. Double, 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 double. Touch. 180. Hunt. Movement. All start. For 14 of the offense. This is a five yard penalty. It is still second down. That's Rambo, the wide receiver. Joey, this is the fourth game in a row with Orlando having 10 penalties or more. Yeah, and in the second drive in a row, they had a false start moving them back. You know, again. You keep beating a dead horse, but these penalties are absolutely killing their chances. They have 11 penalties in this game. It is killing their chances at getting momentum started for this offense. 11 penalties, 90 yards, moving the wrong direction. Lattimore will hold on to it at the 40. It'll be third down. Three-yard gain, the stop by Jones, and here we go. Ace right, ace right, ace right, ace right. David, David, touch. 180. Right Guardian 6 of 13 on third down. Dormany stays alive. The pump fake. And not this time. Sandwich between two defenders. It was Ponder and Brooks. And they met him about four yards deep in the backfield. He'll lose six on the play. 
Another blitz sent by Seattle. Perfect timing. Time to the right, and they missed once again. Missed the blitz, or the back has to get a bigger hey, piece of him. They took the penalty. These refs are bad. He's grabbing my fucking head. Kelvin McKnight back on the field. Quentin Dormady not pleased. Bro, they grabbing me around my head so I can't see nothing. He said, you can do that in the pocket. I'm like, you already called it once. Oh, these refs are so bad. Check in with Dean Blandino in our XFL command center. You heard Dormady talking about the contact with the face, Dean. We did look at potential contact to the face, and there was no forcible blow. We had a really good look to show that there was a grab right here on the front of the collar, and there was no forcible contact to the head neck. Thank you. McKnight retreats from the 14. So shifty. 86 and wide, another big play. Turned over at the 35. Upon a 57, a return of 21, and another marker on the field at the 25. right by the neck. Okay, we've got multiple flags. Are they all the same? Three penalty markers on the field. Number nine holding during the return. Oh, blindside, my bad. During the return. Personal foul. Legal blindside box. Number nine of the return team. It's a 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. We first down. Don't forget later today over on ESPN, don't miss UFC Fight Night presented by Modelo. Title hopes try to remain alive in the main event. Prelim start at 4 Eastern, followed by the main card at 7 on ESPN and ESPN+. Plus. And a Modelo in the stands as we speak. Well played. 339 remaining. Cameron Kay, the new long snapper, signed to the roster on Tuesday requiring assistance off the field from a Naples, Florida originally. Played collegiately at Troy. And the blindside block will force the Sea Dragons to go backwards. That's a big penalty. Orlando out of timeouts. Yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 860 on two, ready. Jump, 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 jump. Pressure off the edge, the quick release to Pearson. Pearson dives ahead for a first down and a big gain on first down. The tackle by Smith give him 11. Trips left, let the clock run. Yep. Trips left. I got Denver wide bubble. Here we go. Denver wide bubble. Denver on two, ready. Always a conundrum. You're trying to milk the clock running a version of the run and shoot. Not easy to do. In the corner, Jordan. Set, go. Hot. Hot. Bradwell stopped by Smith. Guardians do have three timeouts remaining. Two and a half minutes to go. 861 on two, ready. And the two minute warning. Set go, we gotta go. Hard, hard. Empty backfield again, Danucci, Pearson. Brought down, crossing to 30, that's it. Hossein was there on a timeout call. Can I defend myself? In a minute. Third down, Danucci wants to go deep, heaves one. Pearson was open. It was above his head, he's only 5'7". And still, we're not even to the two-minute Yeah, minute plenty warning. of time, plenty of time for Orlando here. They still have the two timeouts. There's two minutes left, they'll be under that. We'll go two-minute warning after the punt. 
but Orlando is in a perfect position to get their first win if they can get their offense going and get into the end zone. Clock hits two minutes. That will take us to the two minute warning. We got a ball game back in Orlando. One possession advantage for the Sea Dragons. But the Guardians going to get it back in search of their first victory. And the punt whistled dead at the 27, a punt of 40. It was Shabari Davis that pinned it down there. So Orlando gets it back in another hurdle, obstacle to overcome. Shane Matthews calling plays. I want. The key is don't get another false start. Don't give away five yards. They've done that in the last two drives. Hey, bring your split in, Rambo, just a tad. David, David. Cut. Wait, 80. Wait, cut. Plenty of time. Two timeouts to work with. Dormity. Oh my gosh, he missed the corner again. Darrington has a first down and then some. Powerful finish. The ball came out late, and let's see. Seattle gets it back. We just did. June. Roe Ferris, the fumble recovery. Clearly out, Joey. Yeah, that one's out. And Seattle's another team that has struggled to get turnovers. Only created three on the season, but this one timely and costly for Orlando. They even up the, the turnover battle in this game. And once again, Orlando and mistakes. I mean, I don't know what else you can say about it. It's just these kind of mistakes. They had a shot. Uh, the corner down on this side was wide open. He missed him with the check down, and then hey, get him going, this get him. happens. Hey, man, y'all stop freaking complaining, man. Antoine Brooks forced the fumble, Ferris the recovery, and Seattle in position to win its fourth straight game. First turnover of the afternoon for Orlando. Two timeouts remaining. Bradwell, punishing finish to that run up the middle. Down to Eric. Antoine, you were able to get your head on the football, punch that thing out, if you will, seal the deal. How'd that feel? Man, uh, it felt good. Uh, really, it was just all the team effort. Uh, me and Elijah, Elijah Ponder, uh, did a good job of uh, just containing the tackle and making sure we get the uh, man down. Uh, and, and, and the ball came out. Honestly, I didn't even know the ball did come out. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy for it in the game over. It, it felt like it felt like that this was a really complete game for you. Maybe not the most consistent but but as yeah. a team, special teams, defense, yeah. offense, making their things happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we was focused all week just to focus on the, not their records, their players. You know, we worried about we worried about uh, the 0 and 5. We ain't worried about that. We playing every game to the fullest, all four quarters to zero zero zero. Good, that I appreciate you. 136 to go, Eric. Thank you. After the timeout, Bradwell. Stop short of the line by Trayvon Sanders. Another timeout after a loss of one. Orlando now out of timeouts. Guardians out of timeouts. Third and six. Set, go. Hi. Hi. Danucci they simply slide down and make sure the clock continues to roll. Terrence Plummer. Tracking that time. And Orlando will have a chance to get the football back. Out of timeouts and a long ways to go. Joey, you mentioned the uh, over in this game. That connected. Fifth time in six games. Orlando's particular contest has gone over the number. And the way this game started, three points in the first quarter did not dicey. seem like it was going to get there. And they'll move it back five. Nice elect. And the delay of game will move it backwards. 47. 
We'll see if Orlando wants to set up for the return here or try to pull off a block like we saw from Seattle earlier. Hold on. Thank you. We're going to reset the clock. Nizelec just going to make sure he gets rid of it cleanly, and he does. There's a penalty marker down into the end zone. Let him go, man. Hey, you ugly ass. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey. Check the penalty. Number 19. Ineligible player of the kicking team downfield. This five yard penalty will be added to the end of the play. The first down. It's on TJ Hammond, so a seven point deficit. Jim Haslett's team out in front. And Orlando with not much time to work with Joe in out of timeouts, but still not impossible. Yeah, not impossible. The touchback brings it to, to the 35, add five there at the 40. There's 40 seconds. Obviously, you, your plays have to be out of bounds. You, you don't have a whole lot of time to make big plays down the Why field and get up there and spike it. Why not? Three man front. Dormany wants to go deep. Has Rambo. That's a first down. Stopped at the 40. It's a good start. Same play, same play. Repeat, redo. Let's go, same play. Go back to the well one more time. Dormany under duress, caught again at the 25. Rambo Spike, getting it clock, done. Clock, 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 just get set, get set, clock. Rambo, get on the ball. Cut. A couple of seconds costly there as Rambo had to set up. 17 seconds to go, still time. Yeah, if you're a receiver, you got to stay on the same side of the ball you were on. Right, if we're you get on the opposite, play. then you're uncovered. I want the back to run a wheel route down here. So we're going to go twin, Twins right, Seattle, Seattle, Z-Dig, H-Wheel. Seventeen seconds to go. Guardians attempting the comeback. Look quick. Now you're hot, maybe. Michelle, Michelle. Touch. Time look on defense. Dormany is going to float one on the wheel and incomplete. Thomas was open for a moment. Ponder in coverage, Joey. That was close. That was close. They went man to man on the backside. They sent the blitz. Come man, here, I would have loved to take go. that come shot here, down, down the middle. Dose left. It was there. Come here, come here, Cody. Yeah, if, if you're looking to the middle of the field there, you got Latimer in a man to man situation against a safety. I like I like the options of going to Latimer there. Ace right, Seattle, Z pump. Hey, ace, right, ace right, ace right, ace right, ace right, ace right, hurry. Yeah, double, 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 double. Orlando out of timeouts, Thomas the running back. Hey, easy, easy, Michelle, Michelle. Touch. Here comes pressure, Dormady has to step up and elude it. Gets rid of it incomplete, and that was close. Eight seconds to go. Boy, Walker and Holder came crashing in. Dormady fortunate the game isn't over. They're sending a blitz, and it's man-to-man -man coverage. Me, um, we're gonna keep Cody in, tell him to, hey, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, I want, a, I want flex right, flex right, flex right, Charlie two, Clippers, Z pump, Z pump, Charlie okay? Two. Charlie two. Stand up, Cody, stand up and just protect from there. Make them look like you're running a route. It's fourth and 10, you have to okay. believe Orlando has to get to Michelle, the end zone. Touch. Only eight seconds to go. Dormady going backwards, driven down. Passes ruled incomplete, and that's going to do it. It was Cole that was blitzing the Orlando quarterback. And that should just about do it. And once again, the Guardians this close. Three losses decided by one possession. Back to the drawing board once again.
for Terrell Buckley and the Orlando Guardians.